Hey folks, I'm Trevine Glory and welcome back to 7 Days Today. It's day 42, coming up for the start of Fortnite. Uh, but I um, decided to start some weapons or ammunition production. So making up some iron arrowheads there and some brass casings here. I will need to go and get myself some lead. I'm also doing a bit of cooking, still with bacon and eggs because... Uh, in need of recipes, I think I mentioned before. So yeah, I need to go and get myself some lead so that we can start ammo production properly. But the iron arrowheads, I've decided to make the switch over to them rather than the stone. But let's see how we got on this horde night. I'm having a problem here. Uh, getting to right click. Uh, whoa! Spider just flew right across the screen. I think I missed her there. Anyway, I'm here just to watch the fun. Yeah, so this is a new level 6 uh, robotic sledge. Uh, okay, nothing much happening other than that spider. That's quite amusing. I suppose it is theoretically possible that he might jump through that space if he gets his angles right. There we go. I'll look bag. And we're up a level. Don't you be damaging my structure. No, I mistimed it. Got her that time though. Anybody got past? Not yet. Okay, so I'm really waiting for the higher tier zombies to arrive. Oh, you made it up. Stop jumping, let me kill you. Right, this is getting a bit ridiculous here. I'm going to have to set fire to you. Uh, I just think, no, that, so the coverage here goes all the way along, so they can't get on top of it and then down onto me. I thought maybe I'd left a gap over, been over there. I didn't replace iron spikes down below. I might do that in the future. But I don't think they're really necessary. They just speed up the deaths a wee bit. I should really get the old shotgun out when we get masses of zombies congregating like that. Ah, maybe if I load it, why do I always, always equip a gun uh, and never think to load it? Oh, you made it. Hello. I just heard the um, shattering of iron. Yeah, so these things aren't very strong. So I do need to make sure that nothing gets past. Take a bit more care. Um, I could put just iron railings in there, that would keep me safe, or safer. I've only got 53 shells on me. I've got more upstairs, but I don't want to use up all my ammunition on this. Alright. Uh, no sign of any vultures yet. Normally they've been by this time. Well, we're at half past eleven almost. Ah, you. Ah, you got all the way along there and then you fell off.
and probably landed on some... No, I think you fell off the far end. You wouldn't have landed on iron spikes. Oh, soldier. It's the first one of those I've seen tonight, I think. Just more vanilla zombies, it seems. Somebody else get past. In fact, a couple of them get past. Try and shoot them. Don't shoot past them. I wonder if I've got any iron fences upstairs. Uh, I think we'll just wait for now. I was going to go and do the running repairs while this is going on. <laughs> nice, Andy landed on the spikes. Okay. Oh, you. Stop it. Making me cross. And I think he's at it again on the other side. He is. And now he's gone. But there was a spider there, I noticed. Uh... Soldier Man's trying to be tactical. Rather than just running up into the slaughter zone, he's trying to bring me down to him. First dog of the night, and that spider down there. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate we can't see the zombies down there after they've been punched off. To add to the entertainment. Uh, maybe I can look at changing the setup. No, I'm not going to change the setup. There you go. It's just because you can see them down there and I want to be able to try and get them. Not that I can actually get them if they're... Oh! You made it past as well. Oh, you're not dead. That's why I can't get past you. Okay, maybe I should go up and... No, I can't leave this. Uh, now that I'm here, I need to stay to keep this activated. That was a good punch, just as the dog's about to get past it. Let's get our handgun out. Just to make sure nothing sneaks past there. Oh, out of ammo. dog's not dead. I wondered why it was just floating in mid-air. I <laughs> love it when the spiders come flying past. I just shot the turret, I think. I heard something else break. They're not down in there. Maybe it was just, yeah, it would have been iron spikes that have finally given up the ghost. Uh, 
Okay. No sign of any policemen or anything of that sort. No irradiated zombies. Oh, I thought he was getting past there. that one was trying to go. She's down, yep. Better if this was made out of glass blocks. Where's that guy off to? It's going to go and attack a tree. He's still alive. see some different zombies. I'm hungry. Good job I did all that cooking earlier on. And I did get a chance to make my sniper scope. I need to do that when this has died down. I'm really surprised, it's now quarter past two and there's still no sign of any higher tier zombies. bag or two down there. Definitely one. I think there's another one yep, there. Not that we've had much from loot bags. I mean, we looked up two earlier and got three tablets from them. Let's get something else. Let's... Uh, do I have any shells for the Magnum? I have ten. That's difficult to tell if that was the gun or if it was a peal of thunder. No, that was the gun. Missing with that second shot. Dodged me. You didn't. The animation for the gun, uh, it's obviously there's recoil and a massive kick on a magnum, but it does spoil the view somewhat.
This has been very strange. I think every horde night we have had an increase in the tier of zombies we've faced apart from tonight. He's down. Missed. Didn't missed. Okay. Uh, another little bag. Can't reach it. Almost reached that one just before it fell off. Dearie me, imagine how an, an unloaded weapon. <laughs> I think he just pushed that other guy off. Fifteen more minutes till the morning. There's somebody else running in there. But I think that should be the last wave of them then. Yep, so no policemen, not even any buzzards, only a couple of spiders. When there's more come up here. So let's uh, switch back to Bonaro. In fact, let's uh, just go down and see these folks downstairs. Oh, well, you're still feral, look. I didn't check if there's anybody behind me, which was a bit of a mistake. Right, don't die now. You're going to be the death of me. As long as we've not got a laceration, we're all right. Uh, antibiotics. There we go. So let's see where we go with the loot bags. Some cash and a brass radiator. We will die all. Um, we could just scrap the leather gloves, take the military armour parts. Magnum Enforcer Volume 7. We check it up the stairs. And. I probably will go ahead and replace those iron spikes. And we can't see the damage until I have. I obviously set up stairs there missing, um, but I need to get my hammer before I can see what the damage is like. Alrighty. Can I put these off now? Yep, yeah, you're done. You smelted everything. And Good to put. Let's put the brass in there for now. 
and here. Iron arrows, we can make 200 of. Let's go ahead and get them under construction. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah, there's bits and pieces for in here. Some leather. Uh, that. These are motor tool parts, military armour parts. I've still got this. Actually, let's um, eat the soup and the lamb rations. And we will check to see. It's going to take us up a wee bit further, so we'll eat one more bacon and egg and keep one with us. Don't have any additional water. So I'm just going to get organised now to go to the trader. Let's grab those down. Yeah, and I'll put away the coal here. Throw this iron in there. So, I'm going to take the cash and all these things that I can sell. Um, Magnum Enforcer Volume 7. We have, so we can sell that too. Yeah. Uh, anything I need to make sure I don't sell. I want to keep hold of the machete, the goggles, the lockpicks. Right, let's head out then and go visit our trader. That's, yeah, over there. So I hope the next Horde Night is a bit more entertaining than that one was. And I could just have stood by and let the sledgehammer do most of that work. Uh, without needing to get involved, but... Um, I need to look for lead. Thinking about it, if I'm going to be making our own slugs. Yeah, so I must remember that when I'm out and about. We've picked up a few lead pipe. Um, uh, we've picked up a few lead items when we've been out and around, but I've never really gathered enough to start making bullets in any sort of large scale. I suppose past here quite frequently. So, nests and things are likely still to be empty. Thank you. Thank you, Survivor. Iron pickaxe is worth 240, so shall take that from you and then sell you this all of it um all of it sell that these can go to there we are now can I maybe buy a motorbike from you. Doesn't look like it. Urban... Oh, I could buy a 4 before truck if we only had 60,000. Uh, what am I looking for here? A wheel. I wanted a wheel. But no such luck. You come back sometime. Uh, Urban Combat Volume 5. Did I sell him that? No. Landmines don't detonate when stepped on, so let's have a look at your inventory again, please. And I'll take this. Uh, 
Needle and Thread Volume 6. I think I've got that. Nothing there. Nope. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think we're going to get anything really from him. That's so disappointing, bringing down all my money. Restock in day 46. We'll come back then, see what we can get. Great doing business. I, I just want to check, make sure that we don't have that needle and thread. And we've only got seven. Okay, well, I will relieve you of this then after all. I thank you. And we'll, do you have any other jobs? A tier 2 fetch, only 500 metres. So we'll take that one on. I wouldn't do this for just anyone. Let's uh, use that and that. And then we go and take our money back home. I think once I've not stood behind the door and opened it. So yeah, let's head back up to the base. Um, just in case I do come across any lead. Uh, yeah, head it back up to the base. Dump off my stuff. Amazing what you can kill chickens with. I should maybe have stun battened it to death. I still wish you could um, farm chickens, breed chickens, whatever you do to them to make them grow more. I think I've checked around all here when I was looking for coal earlier on. This is all just stone. Yeah, we don't have lead discovered already. Didn't think so. Okay. So, and I also noticed uh, Trader had no recipes either. So didn't get a wheel, didn't get a recipe, didn't get mini bikes. Didn't get much at all, really. So we'll go back up and we can put cash away we keep everything else I suppose apart from the bones, we don't need to keep the bones uh, How are our arrows done? Good stuff uh, Sticking these in here I only sold one of the silver nuggets. Okay. Well, we'll do the rest next time. We've got 31 cooking pots. That's an impressive amount. Need a wheel. Should I go out and just start taking apart cars? Uh, what was it good to put away? Oh, yeah. I think I might do that. And I'll put away. Yeah, those. Am I going to. Nah, let's commit to using the iron arrows. To need this. And I shouldn't need a splint either, to be honest. That's not where that goes. We'll just stick that in there. Uh, and the splint. 
Put that away too. Get me my good wrench. And let's go wrenching. We will sort out the repairs, etc. Uh, later on. Yeah, I and I want to switch out these wee fences for proper iron bars. Anyway, I guess we just head back down here. See what we can do. Taking apart cars and looking for lead, remember? And also, I suppose nitrate. I think I've got not a bad amount of nitrate powder in the base. But again, I don't have a, a, like an industrial supply ammunition for the creation of. I'm getting that arrow back. And it's my last stone arrow as well. I completely forgot to unload my weapon this time. Never mind. What's in the sedan? Lock picks will take and some lead fishing. I'll take the brass as well, why not? Some fuel and then the engine. But no wheel. Okay, try this one over here. I don't think there's any in that garage. Oh yeah, I scrapped down the the brass stone orbs. That's where the lead the the brass came from. Lady Luck be a wheel tonight. Up another level, that's good. Um, actually, thinking about it, I think that takes me up. I could now uh, get Motorcycle Maniac. We need level 6 here, so let's put another point in there and go ahead and build that so I can now well I can craft motorcycle parts maybe I'll go ahead and build myself a motorcycle I think I might there is no car in here no okay We're still using our stone arrow, so goodbye to it soon. Come down a bit. That was down a wee bit too far. And I should maybe think about trying to craft a better bow. I wonder what level I can craft actually. Maybe still only level one. I don't think I've put many points into or um, into what is it? Huntsman. No, that's harvesting resources. Actually, there we go. Yeah, bowman. Quality of two poor bows. So I guess the next point needs to go in here. Uh, looking for cars. I'm almost out of the town already. Such a small place. Uh, 
Yeah, I went over to the right. It's not in the best of condition. There's another. Okay, and I've been through, there's a gears that I went to and didn't get too much from. And now we have car parts at least. I don't think we're going to get lucky at all. But uh, I'll try a few more if we can find them. And I'm just going to head back up to the base and see what I can craft in the way of parts. Because I think I have loads of mechanical parts, springs, etc. head down to the next junction then we'll hang a right and just make our way back. Still only 10 o'clock. I keep forgetting that we had the horde night. Uh, the waterworks usually has some cars parked. I've not taken them apart already. Not the best nick these cars obviously. I think it's worth taking these down, but sometimes if you put in the effort, you eventually get rewards. Out of stamina, I'm knackered from ripping apart cars and running. Not burdened, no, encumbered. Here, just remember though, I do need to load up my arrow. Yeah, that's a bit better. Here we go, the bear den. Surely there's a wheel somewhere around here. I think I might do my search for lead off camera because that's just going to be a lot of running around staring at the ground essentially. Uh, let's take it. I don't think I've lifted any uh, old sandwiches yet. battery and another engine. But the battery and the engine will be powering a unicycle based on our luck so far. Okay, this is just one more. And this one will be full of wheels, no doubt. Lead. Probably out of the petrol. What? <laughs> What are you doing? There we go. Another engine. Uh, 
Okay, home then. On its uh, airdrop day as well. There we go. And it's not that far away. Let's let's go check it out before we head back. Since it's so close by. Caravans of wheels. Okay, um, we need to mark this. Yeah, I'll mark it. I think it's a wee bit far from the base, but it may actually be the closest. I was thinking though, having a look down the the far side of the hill, I don't think I've really explored around there for um, lead or nitrates or anything of that nature. I hope this crate isn't on the roof of the house. We did have, was it the last airdrop? The one before we had the crate land on the roof of one of the traders' buildings. Which was a bit of a pain to get to. Yes. No, no, no. There we go. Fooled me. Okay, um, iron knuckles, and scrap, hunting knife will take, take everything else, and a tactical assault rifle. Yeah, okay. Do I want to equip that right now? Probably not, we'll just take it with us. We've got a wandering horde. So let's get our tactical assault rifle. Press R to reload. Got shot that guy. Missed. He's not going down. Okay, let's get a bit closer. We've thinned the herd down sufficiently. Oh, did we get a loot bag? We did. Any chance there's a wheel in it? Uh, okay. Taking stone, probably don't need that. Steel tool parts will take instead. There we go. A wee bit of a diversion. I think that took him out straight away. Where'd he go? There he's there. Retrieve my arrow because these are expensive ones. Okay, we've already got 
coal closer by. So yeah, I think I'm just going to head back up to the base, dump off our stuff, and then I will go and spend the afternoon having a look around the back side of this hill, see if we can find any decent deposits. Uh, and then once I've done that, I'll spend the evening looking at uh, what we can potentially craft in the way of motorcycle parts. I should, I mean, I've taken down plenty of cars, uh, so we should have loads of materials there. Maybe not enough to build a 4x4, but that would be fun. This actually looks like quite a complex now, rather than just a tower, which essentially it is. But anyway, as I said, so I will put in a break. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.